Hey guys, it's Eric here. I want to show you my new golf card. It's uh, designed to be used by golfers. I love golf. I'm an avid golfer, so I designed this to be used while you're on the course. Uh, so it's very fat finger friendly, and by that I mean that as soon as you load up the app, this is what you see. You're right in the scorecard. Uh, you can start scoring immediately by tapping with your finger on any of the white cells. And when I tap, you'll see the, the strokes. I can just tap those as well. Uh, this is very easy to see, especially when you're outside in the sun. Uh, so it's very simple to, to keep score here. Uh, the only time you ever have to use the keypad on your phone is if you want to set the score golfer names. So if you look at the top, you'll see hole and G1 through G4 representing the default golfer names. I can press my finger at any of those cells. And at this point, I can, if I'm only playing two golfers, I can put in up to three initials here. So again, it's the only time I'd ever use the keypad on my phone. And uh, if it's somebody like Bob, you have three letters in your name, I um, can put his whole name there. So Bob and I are at the course, and uh, so we could just keep go ahead and start scoring. Uh, so if you look across the very top to the right of easy score, you'll see four icons. So the first one you see is a down arrow. That will take you to the back nine. Then you'll see an up arrow. That'll take you back to the front nine. Uh, there's a question mark. This is help if you need it. And then to the far right, there's a gear icon. Uh, these are the settings. So anytime during the round, you can press settings. Uh, as long as you don't clear the scores, you'll be fine. Um, so if I want to add par column, I can here. Um, so if I tap in the par here, you'll see uh, Bob's got an eight. Um, maybe I made a mistake here and it's really a par five. Uh, so you'll see I got a birdie on that. So it'll be a round circle and, and Bob has eight. Uh, indicating a, a triple bogey uh, with that red square. In the case of hold number two, um, we both got bogeys uh, and there'll be a black square around each of those. Um, if we could drop down to hold number three, let's say it's a par four, I'm gonna get a double bogey here and Bob's gonna come in with a, a birdie. Um, so you'll see that the double bogey will be orange. Um, Again, I, I do this, the color, just to make it uh, as clear as possible. And I want to use a lot of double lines here. Hopefully it's not too confusing and you get used to using it. Um, along the bottom, you'll see the score. We'll have a running tally of the score for the front nine. And anytime during the round, like I had mentioned, if you're playing for skins, for instance, I can come up here and show skins. Um, so it'll add a new row at the bottom. So you'll see the skins at the bottom at 1-1. One, one. And you see which uh, skins are one. So on hole number one, um, you see that four being a green four, uh, indicating I won the skin. And then on hole number three, Bob has a green three. Um, on the back nine, we'll maintain skins here. Right now there's no skins on the back nine yet recorded. Uh, there's no back nine score, uh, but it does show a running tally of the total score. Uh, again, you can go back and, and uncheck the skins, uncheck par column, go back to our normal mode here uh, where you have more real estate here to work with if you just want to score up the, the round um, and not worry about pars or skins. So I hope you like it. Um, if you do, please rate it high in the App Store and Google Play Store. Uh, and I look forward to feedback. Keep hitting them straight and thanks for listening.